hi to all uh, welcome to everyone so in this video tutorial we are going to understand the android project structure before understanding this android project structure or we can call it as a android folder structure first of all we need to set up the android development so for that first of all you need to go to my blog and you need to see the video that means you need to watch the video that is Android installation new procedure so once if you watch this video that means the tutorial on the installation then you can complete the Android installation setup so after completion of the Android installation setup we will get this Eclipse this one you can call as a ADT bundle so here only we do Android applications so in that video clearly I have shown you how to install the softwares and how to create a first project means uh, how to create a project and how to run the project so here this area we are going to call as a package explorer under package explorer only we create a new projects and we are going to edit them in this area and we have any problems we can see the problems under this console and these are the shortcuts and he here we have a menus let us create a project so new and we are selecting android application project in this window if you see application name the the application name what you are providing that means we know clearly if you are creating a project we are going to give one application name what you want to give for your project now so i'm going to give the application name is demo and if you come to the project name automatically it is taking the name what we have already entered in the application name field so what they are saying clearly the project name is only used by eclipse but must be unique within the workspace this can typically be the same as the application name so what is the application name you are providing project name is also we should provide the same name so the eclipse is going to verify the projects with the project name only that's why it will be un it should be unique once you have given one name for your application that name you should not repeat there's a story so what the name you are providing here automatically in this field also it will generate the same name so you need not to change the project name again and coming to the package name here we have a, some certain rules in the package name we should have at least one dot minimum one dot should be there and the dot should not start with the dot and should not end with the dot if you see we have deleted the uh, word before the dot if you see what is saying a package name cannot start or end with a dot so that's why the i said that dot should not start with a dot and should not end with a dot so we are giving generally we are starting the package names with the com and next we are going to provide like a company name suppose bas and the application name so in this format normally we are going to give the packages for the applications and the, at the same time the package name is treated id of the application we are treating the package name is id of the application why because after developing application we are uploading the application to the play store again from there we are downloading into our mobile we are installing it play store and our mobile also they are verifying the applications by its package names only that's why package name is very important in the package name we are giving the uniqueness with the help of the typical name we are providing in the combination of the organization name and the application name suppose the same application can be developed by two companies but you will see company names are different in that way we are going to provide the uniqueness for the package names i will show you clearly if you open the play store and we can see a lot of applications here and if you open any application that means what are the applications are there in the play store we can see every application package name if you open this application if you see in the address bar the package name is com dot bit games factory dot sniper hero like that if you open any application in the play store that application package name you can see in the address bar so the applications are verified and uh, verified by the play store using the application package names only the application package names only we are calling as the ids of the applications right move to the eclipse again and uh, the coming to the next field is minimum required sdk what is minimum required SDK? That is, that is lower version compatibility. You can create a project in the any version, like say, let us say 2.3 or 4.0 or 4.4. We are setting the lower version compatibility in the sense, lowest version compatibility. 
in the sense that is you can create a project in any version up to which lower version the project should run so we are giving that compatibility is 2.2 .2. at the same time from lower version to till which higher version the higher version compatibility is always higher version is the latest version only the higher version is here 4.4 now what we are having now compile with so this is the lower version this is the higher version compatibility now we want to create a project in which version 4.0 so i have only the sdk 4.4 and if you have a uh, more SDKs, it will show you here. Then you can create a project in the 4.0 or 2.2, 2.3. We know clearly the other SDKs you can download from the SDK manager from the window menu. Right. So we need to hit next. Again, next. And this is the application launcher icon. Whenever we are launching the menu in the mobile, all applications are having the logos. So default, it will take the Android logo. And we need to hit next. And here, See, uh, you may use different versions of AIT bundles. So you can get this blank activity. And here you will get, a, this is actually the tools now. Here you will get a four tools or five or six or three uh, according to the AIT bundle version. So uh, as a beginner, you need to select the blank activity. Uh, sorry, you need to select the empty activity. Don't go for other activities. Why? Because in the beginning stage, it will be very difficult to understand other templates if you choose. That's why you need to select only empty activity and say next don't bother about these two fields leave as is what the name they are having and you need to fin you need to uh, go through with the finish so here it is creating project So this is our project called demo and you can observe one more was created that we are going to call as a library project. This project will give the library to this demo project. What is this project in a sense? 4.0 onwards we have a, a any, lot of new concepts are there. They were introduced from 4.0 version onwards. If you want to use the concepts then you can use it no problem from the our project only. But if you are running the application the lower version then higher version concepts should support lower versions for that purpose through this project we are getting the library through that library we are supporting the lower versions so you need not bother about this automatically it will come just we need to understand about this project only later we can discuss about again this compatibility library so don't go for this don't try to understand even for this just have a knowledge like what i said now and now we need to understand about this project see this is we are going to call as a main project folder and in the main project folder or root folder you can say under this main project folder we will see we have a number of subfolders see number of subfolders in the subfolders we have again files so now we need to understand clearly about this folder structure in which folder what kind of activity we will perform that is our main concentration here so if you understand this folder structure clearly then the next uh, concepts are very easy to understand uh, it's very easy for us if you fail to understand the project structure you cannot uh, make an application that we need to understand first of all if we better understand this folder structure come in yes we are not having any problem with the project so we can concentrate on the um, projects and we can concentrate on the logics how we are going to write right so we'll meet in the next video